there are hybrid inverters which have capacity let's say 15 kilowatts 12 kilowatts 10 kilowatts 7.5 kilowatts or even up to 50 kilowatts and um, inverters and these inverters you need to actually connect them to an internet source in order to put these inverters on a network in order to be able to remotely monitor your solar power system so in this video i'm going to look at how you can actually install or connect these inverters to a network together connecting the internet to each of the inverters together so you see here so you see here in this video we have we have a wi-fi dongle which is under the inverter so on it you have the segment for ready com and net ready actually shows you that this wi-fi dongle is actually ready to begin to receive a signal while com means that it's communicating within themselves and the network while net has to do with the internet connectivity to this particular inverter so most times if you want to connect to this inverter first of all you can do it using um an rs rj45 cable but you can also do it via wi-fi connection so on this pan on this wi-fi dongle you can actually see two dm details on it beside the barcode you have serial number and you have password so with this once you turn on your wi-fi you are able to connect to this inverter directly by using connecting to this serial number and when you ask for a password you use this password that has been placed on the wi-fi dongle so once that has been done you then have access into the inverter so once once you have access to the inverter initially the net and the com lights are going to be switched off so it's because it has already been connected to the internet that's why you see it here in this video turned on but when you are doing it for the first time when there's no internet connection and these inverters are not connected to a network the com and the net lights are going to be switched off so once you're able to actually connect to this um, once you're able to connect to the inverter directly via your wi-fi system you you can then access the interface of this inverter using an IP address so it depends on the user manual that comes with your inverter in most cases your user manual is supposed to come with the barcode that you're supposed to use that's in other words the IP address you're supposed to use to connect to this inverter's configuration interface so in this case once you have connected to the inverter which has just been done now you will then need to type out an ip address so it depends on the ip address on the manual if you can't find the manual you need to find out the ip address from the company that supplied this inverter so in this case the ip address is 10.10.100.254 .10 and the username is admin the password is admin once you have done that you are able to log into the inverter so with this now you can actually see the serial number of the inverter the current power it is generating you can see other information in the inverter such as the model of the firmware the serial number of the inverter itself not just the wi-fi dongle you can see all of this information so from there you can actually then connect this inverter to an internet network so you do that by going to wizard under wizard you wait for this list to refresh so you can actually click on refresh to generate the list of the different wi-fi networks available so once you've done that you then select your internet connection not the not the wi-fi modem the internet connection you want to use so in this case we are using eve so this internet connection has been selected you click on next then you type in the password for this internet connection not the wi-fi dongle 
So, so it's not that password on the Wi-Fi dongle. It's the password of the internet network that you are connecting to. So once you've put in the password, you click on next. And in that page, it's then going to let you know whether you need them additional settings. So you can actually ignore that segment and just select next. It's not necessary. So once you've selected next, for this to take effect, you have to click on OK. Once you click on OK, the Wi-Fi dongle, the lights are going to switch off. All three lights are going to switch off and to reboot and then connect to the internet. That's how you connect each inverter. If you are using multiple inverters on your network, that's how you connect each inverter to your Wi-Fi network. And you connect each inverter to the internet. That way you are able to monitor each inverter's production and behavior in the network. In the next video, I'm going to look at how we can actually create a plant on the platform of this manufacturer of this inverter. Thank you for watching this video. This is Catchment of Resources, where we create a better living.